Hey Ron's Dave here, and today we check out the Reign of Madness update to Dimia. Yet another update to one of my all time favorite games set in virtual reality. Since its launch, it's been just impressing me every single time, and it stands for pretty much everything that I support nowadays, which is consistency, polish, update, new content. It has everything, it seems like. This patch is branded as the last one in the journey, though I had to do some research because it was kinda sad, but it's meant to end the saga of the Elven King, so it's not meaning that it's ending its support or just it's the literal end, like oof. <laughs> so after all the lore and teases, we're finally able to face Mad Elven King himself and also the rest of his army in the town of Ents alongside getting a new hero in our ranks, the Barbarian. Normally every update besides the new characters introduce some kind of new mechanics if it's for the enemies or environment and also new cards to discover. This time around we will be able also to get additional help from NPCs scattered around the stages. It released yesterday but I postponed the gameplay for today since I wanted to have a better grasp on it but there's still so much to discover classically like with every patch ever. The combination techniques with hooks, bumps, just everything that's happening is so fun and exciting. Somehow the game gets better and better which is a rarity these days. Overall I really like the update you really need to spend a lot more time to uncover everything that's available and create strategies for upcoming challenges. After this one's out, I'm not sure what's the future for Demia. I know PvP will come out eventually and then maybe someday we'll have a second book in the making. Who knows, like I trust this team of developers, they definitely know what they're doing and this game is in good hands overall. Let's go to the gameplay! I'm recording that before I made an intro, so this is gonna be more like a discovering what's new. I know that this campaign is gonna be the final one apparently, which is surprising because I thought this was gonna be more, though Mad Elven King was teased literally from the beginning of the game, so I wonder if it's gonna be actually the end. Then we have a new class, Barbarian, and the rest I'll be just seeing on the go. This time around I'm gonna play alone, it's just gonna be more calm and the footage won't be as chaotic as it used to be. We all know it's a multiplayer game, I don't need to check out the new stuff with other people. <laughs> or I can as well control 4. Lovely, then let's just do the Guardian, Hunter and... I mean that's kinda a lot. No, let's go with 3 actually. Those two are my favorite ones and I'm comfortable with that. So, Urak. The fighting ends as the enemies have fallen. And I'm still standing. What do we have information-wise with him? Like, okay. I'll see I guess in the game. Oh, that's a new card as well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I can switch as well other characters' cards. Manifest a minor vortex which pulls enemies towards it. Okay, so it's like a small bomb. Hook strike, hold the damage. An old technique that deals high damage and drains health. Leap to attack. Grappling. What's this? Okay. Pulls foes and objects towards you or travel by hook and also damages it that could be nice for bombs actually let's see Alpharag has fled from desert and as Ralma pointed in the direction of ends now you're here so let's canvas this quaint dark town there is like a point of interest, oh as well here, in the previous campaign it was about finding an item on the map and then like selling it for a very good card. This sleep strike has AOE, he kinda behaves like a guardian but I guess more offensive one of course. I wonder how do you combine this? I think like that, that's why this is empty. Let's just... 
go closer. Yeah, that was a good idea. I mean... Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> I'll just do the front lines. What an amazing start. Death from above. Die. The monster. Monster. But still damages because that's how mechanics work. Who's that? Time for bloodshed. Hello? High damage. Oh, directly in front of him. <laughs> mm. Fun. I mean, now I'm screwed with him, but whatever. What's going on here? And if you feel you're in dire need of a loyal fighter, I'm your man. But it'll cost not much. I am very reasonable. Nice. Ah, your loss. Another character to play with. I guess like a minion. I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but when I was playing Dimio recently, I thought the explosion was way smaller before. <laughs> Alright, statistics. My aim is <laughs> Die. Let's see what monsters do. Seems the same, except for the crit attack. What the hell? <laughs> Ready. So random. Opens a rift that summons unearthly minions from other realm if not destroyed. Okay, well, I'll take care of that. My hook heals me. There are definitely hidden mechanics with him, which I love. It's gonna summon instantly, I guess. Something new. Just like a common spearman. And he has this one. Bullseye. Eat it. Monster. Time. Archer. <laughs> okay. Oh my lord. 
I can also pull the bombs to me, which I'm not sure if that makes sense. I mean... I'll go in the safe zone for now. Go back to the abyss! It's crazy that Dimia consistently gets free updates and stuff like just like have some steel. Not many games are capable of that. But I guess resolution have budget. <laughs> this stuff will kill you. It's the monster's turn. Jesus, the range in it. What? Five. Ready. This is very handy, like, you don't need to. Go to them. They'll do that themselves. <laughs> it's like a melee turret. Die! I thought we can like switch the turns. It was two turns, right? My aim is Bullseye. I'll slash you. Of course. Exactly. Sla Mate, this summons random stuff. I don't like that. Now. Kind of like an inverse guardian, in a way that there's no armor and he pulls stuff instead of pushing. Taste my steel. There's a lot of stuff happening here. I'm good for now, so... Still no money for this guy. Die! Those portals are definitely... A priority. Die, <laughs> you fiend. And then I saw they can merge, so maybe summoning something bigger. 
But this is definitely annoying, like... Between 3 and 5 targets per turn. That is a lot, like... This... Something... Has to be eliminated instantly. So many vortex dusts. Attack! So that might be a campaign full of bombs. Which I don't see any, except for one. <laughs> Oh, he has a party. This armor will protect. Me. One goes through. Line up and die. It's interesting playing alone now. Like, I don't do that very often because what's the point? But. It's very calm. <laughs> Find the top. I'll slash you. It's only one damage. Find the target. <laughs> Die already. Okay. Monster time. <laughs> My god. Pretty much every monster from the game is available to summon. I'll see who's there. Somewhere here. Oh my god. Well, I guess I can launch them then. Oh, here we go. Elven Summoner, 40 HP. Deflection? Oh, come on. But I can pull him towards me. I mean, he's tanky, but he doesn't seem to deal like a lot of damage then. Okay, what about this lamp? Do I do that? Huh. Weird. Oh, come on. And that was the time to end the recording. Holy moly. It passes so fast in Dimia, but it's just like a snippet of what's new. <laughs> I definitely like the patch overall. Of course, it's very hard to grasp it in one video, but the potential of Urak is definitely noticeable, like he has a lot of mechanics that I like. Oh, <laughs> see, like there's a lot of going on, so it's another time to discover how things work and you. It's another exciting time for Dimio overall, like this game since its launch 
was so interesting and it never stopped among so many other titles that released after that. So far I love it, we'll see what's next to come.